that I applied for the job, I was working for an accounting office. Found no gratification in that whatsoever. And I happened to meet a fire lieutenant who was working for Alexandria and said, hey, why don't you come on and apply for the fire department? We're getting ready to hire EMTs. This is when we had a split system. We had fire and then we had EMS. I went through the job qualifications. I was a little intimidated at first, but I decided, you know what, I can do this. And I went ahead and applied for the job and I got hired. Absolutely, I came in 1988 and at the time Alexandria only had about 11 women in the fire department. We had one female firefighter, the other women were in EMS along with me. An additional challenge that I had to face was one that I was black. I was the first black female that the city hired in the fire department, so I had some challenges to go along with that. One of the most glaring one was the fact that one of the supervisors didn't want me on shift. Uh, not to worry because another supervisor came to my rescue and said, hey, you know, we'll go ahead and take her on our shift. Hadn't had a problem, you know, since that, that period with someone not wanting me on a shift. I pretty much felt like I had to prove myself where other people didn't have to. So that has been one of the biggest challenges of being in the fire service. No, I'm pretty much a self-motivator, and I think what worked for me also is that I came out of Anacostia High School in Washington, D.C., so I had to deal with uh, quite a few trial and tribulations. So I knew how to fight, and I knew how to fight in a way that wasn't combative in nature, but was more mental in nature. And I was strong enough to overcome a lot of things that, that, that I had to face. I didn't let anything stop me. I joined the hazmat team. I was normally the only female on the team or in these classes and, and that never bothered me. If anything, it pushed me further because I wanted to show people I'm not here because I'm a woman. I'm not here because I'm black. I'm here because I know the job and I can do it. Don't let anyone tell you no. Don't let someone try to stop you because you're a woman or because they think you don't have the physical capacity to do the job. A lot of times people will tell you that because they're intimidated and they have fear. They fear that you're going to come into the department, you're going to excel you're going to do better than them, that you're going to t take a job away from them, but it's not their job to be taken away. It's your job to, to be had.